When we first came into each other's lives six years ago, neither of us would have imagined how important we would eventually become to each other. Now, a couple of years later, a few moves, a dog, and now our beautiful son together, we stand here in front of all of our loved ones, ready to commit the rest of our lives to one another. When Adrian mentioned he had met someone, and when he told me he was thinking of marriage, I prayed and asked God to bless them. I believe that if my son wanted to marry her, she had to be someone very special, and that she is. In life, they say you can never really meet your heroes, but I've had the privilege and honor to be best friends with one of mine. I met Adrian when I was in middle school. Just since then, I've always looked up to him, and I've not really only seen him as a best friend, but as my brother. Every mother's dream to watch their child on their wedding day, but most of all, I was happy that my son had taken that responsibility as a man and made that decision to walk life together with Amber. The love I saw between them both gave me a sense of peace. And when I first met you, Amber, I knew you were the one. Amber, from the day I found out my mom was pregnant, I adored you. I know we had our childhood bumps and fights, and I was probably not the nicest sister, but I couldn't love you more. You have grown so much in these past few years, and I couldn't be prouder of you. God gave me more than a sister when he brought you into our lives. He gave me a partner, a confidant, and a best friend. He knew how much I needed you and how much I would need you. I love you and I love the great person, sister, aunt, and mother that you have become. To Adrian, you brought so much light into my life and the moment that we decided we wanted to be with one another, I truly did not know I could ever experience this level of, ha of happiness and it only keeps getting better with time. Thank you for being the best partner in my life and father to our son and unborn child. You are the most patient, loving, and respectful man and I couldn't have dreamed of a better husband if I tried. I love you more than you'll ever know and I will spend the rest of my life making sure you feel that love. Now let's get married. Love, Amber. Thank you for being such a wonderful son. God has blessed me with such an amazing son and I'm so proud of you. I thank God for choosing me to be your mother. You have made me so proud. You were once my little boy, but today now you stand as a man and I couldn't be any prouder of the man you have become. The husband and the father that you are is outstanding. I know that I'm not perfect and I will need to lean on you but I will always do everything I, can, I possibly can to protect, provide, and love you unconditionally until our last day. You bring out the best qualities in him, and I thank you for loving my son, changing his world for the better. I am more than grateful to you than words can say. I'm just really happy for the both of them, and I can see how much she meant to Adrian. I just want them to know that they mean the world to me. Lula, you're a great example of a strong woman, and I can only hope that one day my girls will follow that example. I promise to respect you, honor you, and always build you up and encourage you to become the very best version of yourself. I promise to continue to learn and grow with you, both as a wife and a mother. I choose you today and will choose you each and every day for the rest of our lives. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I declare Adrian and Amber are now husband and wife. God has joined these together in marriage. Let no man seek to dissolve this union. In the name of Jesus, you may kiss your bride. wedding and um, I wish them nothing but happiness and success in this new chapter of their life.
Love is truly the greatest gift of all. And when you have it, treasure it always and never let it go. I pray God blesses your union for many years to come, that you both continue to grow together in love, honor and respect for one another, that you always have a great communication and friendship. I love you, Adrian and Amber. Congratulations.